On November 18th, the Harry Potter on-screen universe will expand to include Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, a story set in the American Wizarding World, 70 years prior to the events of the Harry Potter series. But how does Fantastic Beasts relate to the already established Harry Potter canon? To answer that question, we need to go back to the very beginning of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, where this fictional universe first began. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them was originally introduced as one of Harry Potter's school books, required reading for his first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Written by magizoologist Newt Scamander, the school book is a reference companion to Scamander's lifelong work finding and chronicling magical creatures. J.K. Rowling released a version of the book in 2001 to raise money for charity. The original release of the book was meant to be an in-universe copy of Harry's own version of the textbook, with notes from Harry and Ron written in the margin. It is listed as the 52nd edition of the book and includes an introduction from Albus Dumbledore, which brings us to our next connection. Dumbledore was Newt's transfiguration professor at Hogwarts. When Newt was expelled Hagrid style for endangering a human life with a beast, Dumbledore stood by the Hufflepuff as he would with Hagrid years later. His protests ultimately fell on deaf ears, though they are mentioned by Colin Farrell's character Percival Graves in a Fantastic Beasts trailer. What makes Albus Dumbledore so fond of you? The Fantastic Beasts film begins in Dark Wizard Grindelwald's fortress in Europe, and Grindelwald's rise to power serves as the backdrop for the planned five films in the Fantastic Beasts series. Grindelwald was a dark wizard with dreams of a global world order that ruled over the muggle population. As teens, Dumbledore and Grindelwald became friends and possibly lovers, but fell out after the death of Dumbledore's little sister. Dumbledore defeated Grindelwald at the height of his power in 1945, perhaps his most famous act. In addition to Newt's notoriety as the author of one of Harry's school books, his grandson Rolf would go on to marry Luna Lovegood, Harry's friend and ally in the book series. This means that Newt's commander is Luna Lovegood's grandfather-in-law. Their thematic connection seems to extend beyond that, though. We first learned about Thestrals, a carnivorous species of winged horse, visible only to wizards who have witnessed death, in the Fantastic Beast book. Thestrals would later be introduced into the main Harry Potter narrative in The Order of the Phoenix, two years later. Luna is the character who explains them to What are they? They're called Thestrals. They're quite gentle, really, but people avoid them because they're a bit... Newt isn't the only main character in the Fantastic Beast film. It also follows Nomad Baker, Jacob, and Wizarding Sisters, Tina and Queenie Goldstein. Tina and Queenie share a surname with a minor character in the Harry Potter series, a Ravenclaw student named Anthony Goldstein. Goldstein was in Harry's year at Hogwarts and would become a member of Dumbledore's army and later fight alongside Harry at the Battle of Hogwarts. Fantastic Beasts' most important Harry Potter connection is not on screen, but in its behind the scenes cred. J.K. Rowling is making her screenwriting debut with the Fantastic Beasts film, coming up with a new original story for the five films that will make up the Fantastic Beasts series. We're hoping to be surprised by some other connections between Fantastic Beasts and Harry Potter when we see the movie in November. For now, though, we have faith that the most important connection between the world of Harry Potter and the world of Fantastic Beasts lies not in someone's family tree, but in Rowling's incredible imagination.